Les deux sont capteurs de lumière. Et ici, on est sûr qu'il y a en dehors de toute la, la canopée. Donc, under canopy. Lorenzo, oh, si. c'est prêt dans combien de temps 5 euh, minutes. Ok. Et eh ben, on fait le briefing dans 5 minutes. Ok, j'arrive. Oh. Uh, regarding the program underwater, we have two objectives today. One is the sensors, and the other one will be the filming. So, we have sediment trap and aqua dope. Rotation of aqua dope, take one, leave the other one, and putting the sediment trap. The sediment trap are divided in two, four are to be put inside the forest, four outside the forest. Okay, let's dive. Yes. Bah attends, on va vous envoyer la raid. Ok, 40 cm. Merci. Mes petits mélanges. Ah oui, pardon. Bah, Combien en plus Il y en a un dans chaque filet. J'ai mes petits mélanges. Combien en plus Inject. Le stop est open. Toujours sur les expéditions, notre temps de plongée est principalement consacré aux différentes manips scientifiques. Mais on ne manque jamais de faire des images qui viendront illustrer ce monde des profondeurs. You find your fish? Yes. Guadeloupe, I'm joining the under the pole team to look at um, how the fish diversity changes with depth. Um, so how different the shallow reef communities are from the deep reef communities. So we saw a lot of interesting things. Um, I saw one of the fish that I named many, many years ago in 2003. 
I saw it after many, many years and I photographed it for the first time. So it's, it's rare that I haven't photographed a fish that I described. So I was very happy to see it here and be able to take a picture of it. That was nice. Uh, when we went to the deeper reefs, I saw a lot of fish that I haven't seen in a while. I mean, we only see them when we go deep. Very interesting and sadly, um, every time we go to deep reefs, even though it's the first time any diver is going to those reefs, we also see signs of human impact. So here we saw a lot of fishing traps, a lot of uh, ropes, a lot of fishing lines, some human trash, plastic bottles. The first thing I saw when I got to about 120 meters was a plastic bottle. So it's always sad to mix the excitement of diving in a reef that nobody has ever seen before, but also already seeing human impacts on those reefs. Sadly, that is something we see all around the world. Everywhere we go, um, I just did a deep diving trip to the Maldives just a few months ago, back in December. And it's the same thing there. We, it's not uncommon for us to discover a new species and then look around and then the next thing we see is a, is a piece of plastic or a fishing line or a rope or an anchor. So human impacts and signs of human activity are everywhere in this planet, I think. Impacts in the Caribbean predate climate change by a lot. So the Caribbean has been impacted by humans for hundreds of years. I think the state of decline that the Great Barrier Reef is today, which is a lot of in people's minds because it's in the news so often, is how the Caribbean was 30 or 40 years ago. So it started declining here much before because the impacts started much earlier than they did in the Great Barrier Reef. So we always try to use our data to better inform management decisions. For example, where do you put a marine protected area? How big that marine protected area is? Our fish data, we always share with fish management uh, entities so that they can better preserve their fish. They can better say what fisheries management have to be enacted. For example, how big a fish can be before it gets fished, how many of each fish can be taken. So this is all fisheries management that is informed by the research uh, we do. We always share all of our results with the public and we think that will generate more interest and then will for the people to protect those reefs. Aujourd'hui, on fait un break avec toute l'équipe. On est au milieu d'une période de travail qui est très intense et euh, c'est vraiment nécessaire d'aller euh, faire un petit tour tous ensemble. Je pense qu'on a vraiment besoin de se ressourcer le temps d'une journée et euh, on nous a conseillé cette balade qui est un peu hors des sentiers battus avec euh, une très belle cascade euh, au bout où on a pu se baigner. Et euh, ça nous a vraiment fait du bien là, de, de partager une journée euh, ensemble où euh, on n'est pas dans le travail, on est, on est vraiment juste dans dans la détente, dans la forêt, dans le verre, et euh, c'est euh, extrêmement ressourçant.